It is Friday afternoon. It's 3.20. I'm leaving an hour earlier than I do through the rest of the week. It's going to be a wonderful weekend. Woohoo! Guys, I have not been this excited about a Friday in a really long time. It's just been a long week. Worked a bunch of late nights. And even once we got home, life was just so busy. So it is really nice to know that I'm going home and everything stops. It's just going to be me, the wife, and the kiddos, who really aren't kiddos anymore. They're basically young adults. Really cool thing is we're all gonna be home for a change and I'm picking up my standard fare for Friday night every Friday night I make this same stop I pick up pizza and ice cream this right here this is so good anytime you mix chocolate and peanut butter you don't go wrong Good Saturday morning. It's very, very early. And the reason I'm up and dressed is because I'm going to open the school this morning for the Park and Recs folks. But again, I don't mind doing that because it gives me many hours to get some stuff done. And there is one other person with me this morning. Yeah, he looks really happy too. But he will be once he leaves the house. He's working a 24-hour shift on the ambulance, and that always makes his day. Okay, for a 24-hour shift, Joshua, you have to pack a lot of food, several meals, and what important things are you packing again? Pizza, like a cliff bar, pizza rolls, and pizza, frozen burritos, because I'm running a tad weight. And, what's that in your hand? Oh, chicken tenders. So you see, to be an EMT, you don't have to be nutritious. To which he poses this question. What's that question again? I don't remember what I just said. He just said, have you seen the average weight of an EMT lately? It explains some things, doesn't it? We eat out a lot. Way too much. Saturday morning, nobody else is here yet. Let's go set up the gym for some basketball. take this lid off the cage he knows something's getting ready to happen and when I set this container of crickets up here on the counter he'll really get excited you can see that he's already seen them you can see them moving around through the cage that's the container of crickets and he's like give me some when the kids feed him, they pretty much hand feed him. They don't make him work at all, but I need him to get his exercise, so I always make him work for them. Oh, there's quite a few there. Okay, so I have them in this little container. They're getting a little calcium coating on them. Now I'm going to try to let them loose out here in the corner. You can see he tries to catch them before they can get out the bowl and get away. Let's put some over here.
lot of important things done here since I'm going to be at school on a Saturday. The number one thing is I've got to finish grading those pedigree projects. I've had them for four weeks. I will finish them today. The second thing that I must do is Crate has got to have a bath. Um, he just has got, well, let's just say that after he does his business, he doesn't always move along. So we need to take care of that. Plus, as a reptile, he needs every once in a while to just be soaked because he's got some dead skin he needs to shed, and this will help get that off. The third thing, if I can make it happen today, is to prepare my room for track out because in one week, I track out. One of the best things about being here on a Saturday is as I work, I can listen to whatever music I want as loud as I want. down now. Whoa, uh-uh. You gotta stay in here. Somebody's not wanting a bath this morning. Come on. See how he's puffing up? He's starting to puff up because he's not happy about this. You got pooping mess all over you that you've got to get off. Yeah, he's definitely not a happy lizard right now. Well, that was certainly interesting. He didn't enjoy that bath at all. And then he did not want to get back into his tank. He fought that and tried to climb out as I was putting the lid on. I think the biggest issue is he's going through puberty. He's at that age where he's starting to mature sexually. His hormones are fluctuating, just like your adolescents at home who are going through puberty. And what can you do when someone's going through puberty? You just kind of tighten up the straps and ride through the storm. See, now he's not talking to us. My five hours are up here at school and I got two out of my three things done. Crate got a bath, even though he didn't like it. I got this projects graded. I got to report it, record it. I got the grade reports re uh, printed so I can give them to the kids. So that in and of itself makes this a great day. Getting ready to leave now. Got to get these glasses adjusted. I'm tired of it, pushing them up all the time. And I got to go home and deal with my cockroaches. Uh, maybe I'll show them to you in a later video. Thanks for tuning in. It was a plain, ordinary day. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Remember, always give somebody a reason to hope and learn something new every day.